hello guys welcome to the channel once again okay we have an asus chromebook c300 s gear yeah, um, all right okay now this chromebook we have here it has a chromebook os on it okay and we want to change the firmware of this chromebook okay we are going to show you how to change the firmware by interchanging the BIOS chip because we have another Chrome Google OS, just the same model number. Now the thing is this is that this one has a problem that I've already installed a new firmware which can run Windows. Okay, it's the same. You can check it, it's the same C300S. So I'm going to show you the process on how to do it. Alright, we are going to lose out it. This is the same model number. As you can see from here so yeah we have lost it out this is the one that contains the windows firmware and this one is the one that contains the chrome os firmware all right this is the bios chip one of it it has two bios chip we are going to show you as we proceed but for now we are going to just show you that yes this is the chrome os board we are going to insert it and on it for you to see all right, we are going to couple not all the parts just few parts just to on it and see that is a chrome os that is in it i'll show you the process the magic behind on how to do this this video is mainly for it consultants um technicians that have challenges on how to uh, put a new firmware on dil Chromebook for customers if they have challenges of doing that you and you have the same kind of Chromebook okay let's test it and confirm all right all right this is the Chrome OS let's see if it is it okay you can see that's the Chrome OS all right let's put the windows on when you put it we are going to still test it after testing we just plug in our flash and see if it will try to boot all right the problem of this other one was that the one of the ram ram the chip and is embedded chip ram has issue so when you want to want to boot it complains of the ram so that's why we are doing this okay now what you just should know is that if this only works only for the same model of chrome os or maybe if you want to program the chip it must be the same size of of its chip size that is either an 8 mb chip or maybe a 4 mb chip okay we are ready for testing let's test it and see if it is working all right this is the this is for it as you can see this is the windows Anyway, all right, let's try to plug our flash and see whether we try to boot. Okay, yeah, let's get to the boot menu. All right, that's our flash. Okay, and it's working here. All right, let's just remove the board. Let's remove the board. All right, here we are done removing it. So, like I said, it has two BIOS chip. All right, so we are going to remove this first one and put in this other one, then remove the other one. We just interchange them together and we see that it will work out perfectly. And you see, in this method is one of the simplest. If you want to be fast, not going into type code and using your internet to download, okay? It's more faster if you have one of the Chrome OS that is bad, okay. But if the eventually you have both are good, I believe what you should do, you can also program the chip. As I was saying, the chips are the same. What you have to do, you have to copy out the firmware of the chip. You make sure you be careful when you're doing it, and uh, you apply flux on it. So we are about to change the second one. You have to be careful the way you hit it so that you don't damage the chip. And you change it very carefully. 
after changing it we are going to test it and see how it's going to work out and after running after running it it works out then we are going to run a windows on it on the chromebook okay the reason why i said that this uh, video is mainly for IT supporters, those you don't have all these tools, all right. As a normal user, you do not have all these tools. You don't have the workstation. You don't have the uh, um, the other tools like the picker I'm using. I said you can get all those tools. Then you can do it. Okay, not that too hard, but except but you have to get the, the the knowledge of how to do those things. Okay, we're about to test it now. All right, you can see. And I believe that it's going to work out because I've tried this on an ASA Chrome. It worked very well and it was okay. All the, the firmwares are stored in the BIOS chip. Okay, so definitely it's going to work. So if you have any similar BIOS, let me, you want to change, maybe you run a crack on this other, you run, sorry, I say a crack, you run new firmware on the other one it will work so you can see now it's working so let's couple it and we'll run another windows we run the windows on it now windows 10 light on it okay let's try and restart then here's our flash plug it okay let's restart okay all right get to boot menu yeah that's our flash Okay, we run on Windows Lite 10. Okay, I'll still also drop the link of this uh, Windows 10 Lite. Okay, any uh, Chrome I'm doing, I'm going to definitely drop in the drivers and also the operating system for you to, to be able to, to do it easily. Okay, all right, so we just delete all the partitions here as usual. Then after this, we install it, install it, then we wait for a while. Please, if you find this video helpful, do well to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Or look, if this is your first time of um, coming to Solar Peak Tech, please do well to follow us for more videos like this. We are going to be here to help you on your your gadgets your repairs on any kind of laptop repairs we are in for it so please do well to follow us subscribe drop your contributions your your questions you can drop it on the comment section you can also inbox me you can also dm me on my whatsapp link is on every of my videos you can whatsapp me and get any information you want to consigning my videos all right we're almost done here you can see it loading all right so when it gets to the desktop we are just going to install the drivers the necessary drivers and i'm going to show you the procedures on how to do that all right i'm also going to drop the drivers free of charge as a link to my in the description of the video as i said earlier i'm going to drop it for you just to help you to be able to navigate and get the rightful drivers for your systems okay um i'm just thinking all right what can really possibly go wrong when you are doing this when you are trying this method what can possibly what can be the cost what can what can that damages that can cost this if it doesn't work out okay it can be that the way you led your your chip maybe one of the cost and maybe the temperature of your uh, gun station or your workstation is is uh, is on the high side and it may damage the chip so you must make sure you know how to regulate your your temperature of your your rework station very well so that you do not have such problems when you want to couple the system back and test it you see that it's not working so definitely you make sure the temperature is okay when you hit out the the bios chip and do it very well okay so that's it i think that's the only 
damage it can cause for now of what i'm thinking if you have any if you have any idea of what can really cost it if it doesn't work you can also drop it on my comment section you can also contribute to it all right it's time to install the drivers here's the flash i'm going to use okay make sure you follow the way in process if you are using this asus um three c300s okay make sure you follow the process i'm going to do now because the way of installing it is different from other drivers okay i'm using my mouse here i'm not using the, the internal mouse is not working i'm using the mouse okay all right we first of all you install this vc we distributable uh then after installing that we install the the sound drivers okay this is the sound drivers we install it see the sound is not working all right let's install it okay let's check yeah it's working now all right the next uh, driver we are going to install is a mouse you click on it now you see the other mouse you have to only un take this other ones we are using that amity max uh, touch so that is it and it's working now without you doing that um on installing the um on taking the other ones it will not work all right you have to install it only that one single it will work okay please uh, do well to like my video and subscribe and follow me for more videos like this i'll see you next on my next video thanks for watching